There was some thought among scouts that Damon Severson was one of the top draft eligible defensemen in the WHL last year. Perhaps not among the group of five defenders who were highly ranked, but a second tier guy projected to go in the top three rounds of the 2012 NHL draft. There was some talk that he might catch a shot at the first round. In the end, Severson was a second round pick, 60th overall of New Jersey, a team that had shown an inclination they might take him. They did a little fitness testing on me uh, the, the day before the draft down in, down in Pittsburgh, so um, they, uh, I, they did definitely show a little bit of interest and you know I was excited about that and uh, once they called my name I figured it was a real deal so it was, it was good. He was the seventh defenseman chosen from the dub and the Devils certainly liked what they saw of Severson in rookie camp signing him to an entry level deal. I think I just kept it simple down there and, and did what they asked and, and uh, just took everything in you know Scott Stevens being their new defensive coach and and uh, just took in everything he had to tell me and uh, it, was, it just made it a lot easier on me and I had a lot of fun down there. He's got good size for a defender at six foot two and close to 200 pounds. The Melville, Saskatchewan native isn't necessarily known for physical play, but he does use his body well, pushing forwards to the outside, getting his nose dirty, and even dropping the mitts on occasion. He's a decent skater with an effortless stride and good acceleration, mobility, and agility. He has a good point shot that can be used on the power play, but he is perhaps best utilized on the penalty kill, where he is a very effective shot blocker. I don't know if I'm the best shot blocker out there, but uh, I don't know, just kind of seeing where the guy's shooting the puck and making sure your stick's on the puck and, and giving him no lane to shoot it pretty much, but uh, just making it easy on yourself by uh, giving the guy no lane and no option. I like to use my stick more than anything, I think, uh, just to uh, get it in the way. And, and, uh, you know, make sure they, they have more to pass to. An area of the game he's working to improve on this season is his decision-making in his own zone. Last year, he was sometimes prone to the glaring gaffe. For example, trying to make a low percentage play up the middle that resulted in an interception by opposing forwards. Plays that can lead to scoring chances and even goals against. Back last year, I think I made a little, a little bit more. That would be how to describe my game. But um, uh, I don't think I'm more of a, a much of a risky player. Uh, I think... You know, just try to keep it simple as much as possible, and and uh, if I if I do make a high risk play, I, I got to make sure 100% it's going to come through. The 18 year old has started to elevate his game, beginning with a solid effort on the Rockets' pre Christmas road trip. Severson scored two goals and six assists, and was plus six in the first four games. While he and his mates had a rough outing in Calgary, it was after all a three and three and fifth game in six nights. It was indeed a successful trip as the team was motivated to go home for the holidays on a winning stretch. Guys were excited to go home for Christmas and uh, I just figured, you know, we got five games left here on this road trip and we get to go home and see our families and, uh, and be home with them and stuff. And, and I, uh, you know, I was excited to play and I figured, you know, try to have the best road trip possible and, and then head home happy. That's, that was my pretty much mindset right there. So that was good. Severson and the Rockets have continued to play well, pounding the division-leading Blazers 7-3 on their first game back from the break. The high-scoring team is generating some excitement in the stands at Prospero Place, and their top five position in the Western Hockey League is not a mirage. I think we're just clicking uh, offensively, and, and uh, in the D zone, we're, we're playing real strong, and we're just making sure we're, we're keeping our game as hard as possible and uh, tough to play against for the other teams when they come in. And uh, as long as we can keep that going for the rest of the year, we'll be, we'll be good. Yeah!